All right, children, the sunlight is going, and uh, I'm on lunch break. Waiting on these people to get out from behind my vehicle. I don't understand white children and their parents. When my mama saw brake lights on, she wouldn't make sure that I were out of the way of the car with the brake lights on. Even if the car wasn't moving, she would make sure I wasn't walking directly behind the car with brake lights on. Or a car that was on, period. But that's just my mama, I guess. Anyway, girl, I'm here presenting you all, I guess, with a rambling report. Because I ain't finished watching, um, what you call that thing? Living Hip Hop Miami yet. And, uh, since I got time on this very today, I guess I'm going to slide over to B. Scott see what popped up between now and yesterday. All right, all right. And again... I do appreciate you all's concern as far as me looking at my phone and driving. I know I'm probably going to get a couple more comments because I'm looking at my phone driving. And it's wet outside and it's coming upon nighttime. But guess what? I don't know. There's no There's no guess what. I just appreciate y'all's concern. I'm a very talented driver. Been driving for about 15 years now. Uh, and the majority of that was illegal. <laughs> um, and again, there's not a lot of traffic, foot traffic or driving traffic generally on the road. Um, the roads that I drive most of the time so and I know how to I know how to do this I do appreciate the concerns though I do um okay so girl see and people be pulling out just no one has time for you pulling out in front of somebody but okay DJ Khaled oh DJ Khaled what what in the world DJ Khaled's future brother-in-law got killed uh uh-uh. uh. Let me pull over because I done missed. Somebody was blocking me and I couldn't turn into where I wanted to turn into. Okay. CJ Kelly's future brother in law got killed while attending a Super Bowl party. Not in a drug deal gone wrong. Well, I didn't hear nothing about no drug deal gone wrong because it's my first hearing about DJ Kelly's future brother in law being killed. Um, all of that sounds awful. And why are these police is blocking these areas like this, girl? Um, yeah, all of that sounds not great, though. Rest in peace to him. I hope the family is okay. Did somebody try to rob the Zales? Look like somebody tried to rob the Zales. Girl. So it's raining heavier. Anyway, child. Um, I hope y'all can hear me, because this rain is loud. HBO's controversial Confederate series has reportedly been canceled. Showrunners to develop a new Star Wars trilogy instead. I don't know nothing about it, and I don't want to. Kylie Jenner re- reveals her daughter's name. Okay. Jill Scott wins gag order against her estranged husband. Well, good. Good for Jill. I'm not going to give her too much right now. They did try her with this photograph. B. Scott tried her with this picture. YouTube star Kean Lawley loses the hate you give film role over his past use of the N-word. Well, shouldn't have said it. Justin Timberlake reportedly cut the Prince hologram from his Super Bowl performance at the last minute. Good. The big blanket with his face on it wasn't too, too much better, especially with the information that you threw shade at Prince of all people. But all right, girl. Fake doctor infects more than 20 people with HIV using contaminated syringes. I need to see credentials. Every time I go to a doctor's office, I need to see your license and I need to confer with the board. DJ Khaled's fiance's brother was murdered. I, I didn't know they were not married. Is this her? All right. I thought they had been married, but that's a hundred percent not my business. Rest in peace, though, to her brother, and um, I'm praying for, for her, um, and the family and them. Rumor has that Kylie Jenner named her daughter Mariposa. That's not my business. Ryan Seacrest speaks out after being wrongly accused of sexual harassment. To have my workplace conduct uh, question was gut-wrenching. What man said this boy and sexually harassed him? Because if it's a woman, I know it's a lie. If it's a woman, I know it's a lie. Ryan Seacrest was accused of sexual harassment by a former E! News stylist. That could be anybody. At the time, the network said it was launching an investigation. A lawyer from... Oh, she claimed. Oh, lie. <laughs> lie. Let me stop. He may have sexually uh, harassed a woman. I just don't see it. I don't see it. NDRE, what a blast from the past. NDRE pops all the way off on Justin Timberlake and Jimmy Fallon for using her sacred word in a skit demands her life work be respected. Uh, is sacred word a song? I don't think I know this one. Let me click here. 
Andy Ari is mad at Justin Timberlake and Jimmy Fallon, and it has nothing to do with the Super Bowl Prince or Janet Jackson. Andy is mad because on Sunday night, Justin and Jimmy, Jimmy did Jesus, Jimmy, participated in a comedy sketch on the Tonight Show called Wait For It, Songversation. Oh. I mean, she did do it first. Give it, give her, give, what, what's she saying? Her hit song, Flowers, on the Songversation album? Give her her flowers. Anyway, um, I didn't buy Songversation simply because when it came out, First of all, India Ari's music has stopped sounding like uh, India Ari's music. That's number one. That's first and as well, foremost. Um, it didn't sound nothing like um, video. It didn't sound like brown skin. Um, none of that. Voyage to India, the whole situation just sounded different. And I said, this is not what I want from India. But I was going to go on and patronize her because, you know, support. But then I looked at her album, Songversation, and it says $17.99. By now, I said, I won't. I shan't. Andy, I really ain't going to get $17.99. My hard-earned dollars and the music don't sound like I wanted to. I'm sorry. <laughs> Who do you think you are? Beyonce? Beyonce is the only artist that I will buy, blindly buy her music for $17, 18 $20. She's the only one because I know I'm going to get my life. And even if I don't get my life, she is Beyonce. And I have been standing for her for, lo, these 18 years. <laughs> Tony Braxton is another one that could get my hard-earned dollars without me knowing what the project sounds like and speaking of tony you said in january your album would be out and it's february and where's the album the hell uh coco from swv the lead singer quote unquote from swv you know that's every time you see her hi i'm coco the lead singer from swv girl we know who you are coco you're the only one look like that that was kind of that was half shading half shady it was on the verge um, but apparently Coco uh, has announced her a, a divorce from her husband, Mike Clemens, after 15 years of marriage. And the haircut is probably why. The haircut sounds like it could be why. I'm trying to pull up because I saw a picture earlier. The picture that B. Scott has up is not the picture I saw. But I want you all to get the side view of Mr. Clemens' haircut. And that would be reason enough for me to divorce him. Um, but I may be superficial. We'll never know. This. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. And tell me, this ain't reason enough for you to do it. Why do you have a patch missing at the side of your head? If it's going bald on the side of your head, go ahead and cut off the rest of your head. Go ahead and cut off the rest. But this just this this patch on the side, what is this? What is it? And is it on both sides? Because if it is, I'm going to be even extra madder. Even the more madder. Got to drop all my grammar rules to let you know I would be more madder. Back to these guys. Apple Music is set to overtake Spotify and paid U.S. subscribers. They got my money. Spotify don't. Speaking of Apple Music, I do have an Apple Music, um, what do you call it, page? Section? I don't know, girl. I'm on Apple Music, and I be making uh, playlists and things. You are welcome to join me over on K's Tunes. K's Tunes, where I created this is a playlist for the Super Bowl full of Janet hits. There's Black History Bop. I've already started working on my March playlist. I've got my Valentine's Day playlist completed, and they will be up within the next week. Just swing on by, hit follow, and uh, join me. See what we're talking about over on, on K's Tunes, what we're listening to and things. Anyway, Kim Kardashian rakes in $10 million in four days thanks to new perfume sales. Dodge Super Bowl ad using Martin Luther King Jr.'s speech sparks backlash. His estate says it was fine and embodied Dr. King's philosophy. Martin and Dexter are trash. The only blessed and sacred people of the King family that I will honor, no shade, um, Martin on, on occasion, but I know he was a dirty dog from time to time, Coretta, because I don't know all her teeth, Yolanda, because I do know a lot of her tea, <laughs> and Bernice don't bother nobody. Dexter and Martin Luther Jr. Uh, Jr. the third. I don't. I don't feel anything towards them as they don't feel anything towards us. They don't care about Martin's legacy. They care about the coin. They would not release information and speeches and these type of things about Martin Luther King to the movie Selma. But they would give, re release this speech to, to Ford, Chevy, who is she? Ford. Girl, I didn't, I didn't need you to open the article. I don't care that much. Dodge. 
I don't have time for Martin Luther Jr. the third and Dexter. I don't. And that's where that ends. Let me go over to Fama. Let's see what she's cooking over there. And then I guess I'll finish watching Love and Hip Hop. Justin Justin Timberlake tribute to print. Oh, what is? I read this yesterday. Okay, well, nothing new on Fama list. Let's go over to the Jasmine brand. Jasmine brand, and see if she's got any new information. Kylie Jenner named her daughter Stormy, with an I, and she has first photo of the newborn. Okay, and that's it. <laughs> that's that's it. All right. Well, that was a cute little uh, rambling report. If I think of anything else, because I got an hour-long uh, lunch break this evening, I will call y'all back. But as for now, I guess I'm just going to finish watching. <laughs> My friend just commented on um, Coco's husband's haircut and said, is that a cut or a condition? I'm hollering, literally hollering. Um, but yeah, girl, if I think of anything else or see anything else in the next uh, 50-something minutes, I'll call y'all back. 40-something minutes. I'll call y'all back and uh, give it to you. But as of now, like, comment, subscribe, all the things the YouTubers say. And I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.